guys welcome back and I'm glad to be back been a few extra days between videos and I don't like it I've um, been working on that and I should also be doing that video today it will go out on Sunday G uh, January the 14th will be the reveal video for mine as well as everyone else uh, that was able to complete their build um, so be looking out for that the United Scale Automotive Creator Content Creators <laughs> Always a mouthful. But anyway, that will be uh, uh, After you see this video, this won't be out today. But anyway, today's Saturday the 13th and I finished mine by the way That's why it's covered up. I didn't finish it. Well, I'll go into that on that video. But anyway, I did finish it so as the thumbnail said oh no not another one not not again yes yes again but this is very um very cool right down my alley my friend billy bear that um he and i talk quite often he we both have a love for the old monogram classic uh museum pieces uh, model kits they build up so nice and uh, he said matthew do you think <laughs> this is just so comical because I said, you know, on my uh, previous videos, like group builds, I might stay out of them because they stress me out. But this is like not even, this is what I want to do. Uh, not that building a, any model kit is something I don't want to do, but um, this is going to be fun. Anyway, classic monogram, 1929 through 41, I think. I've got a few examples here. Um, so you won't be mistaken of what we're talking about but this group build is going to take place starting now to april the 15th got to have something good on april the 15th because that's tax day um, unless they move it around again i know during covid they like extended it or something but anyway we're going to do a group build it's going to be a, a predominantly it can be i would i would like for it to be if you're a youtube creator to also uh create content uh with that We'll call it the Classic Monogram Group Build, hosted by Model Car Videos Facebook group, and I guess Model Car Videos, um, as well as Billy Bear. That just recently started a channel. Uh, so if you've heard me mention Billy Bear, uh, he now has a channel. I will. He's got like three subscribers from the last time I looked. I think his very first video was last night. Um, I think he calls himself the Lazy Modeler. So uh, I like Billy a lot. I'll link his channel in the description so you guys can go over there. And maybe with his help also on his channel, we can kind of keep this thing uh, together because they can get a little wild and get scattered. So first off, Billy is going to be handling the incoming photographs, posts that you guys have. But there's one post that you need to post your stuff on. Now you can post it on the on the Facebook group, but for updates, uh, start videos, finals, and all that stuff, there's one post, and I'll link that one post uh, in the description below. So let me tell you. Let me start over one more time. Your pictures have to be posted in that post. Okay? Don't. Uh, let's try to keep that post. Um, clear if you know what i mean like let's don't fill it up with chats and things like that although it is a, a a chat actually that that post is a chat but let's try to keep the pictures um to where billy can find them easily and uh what we're going to do now i haven't talked me and billy's just kind of tossed this up but I, i'm just going to go ahead and, and say what we're going to do it's going to be a contest okay um it's not just going to be a group build, although it is a group build we're all building, but it's going to be a contest. I'm going to put together a a uh, panel of judges, which I've not spoken to anyone about doing this, but that won't be any problem. Um, I'm going to put together a, a, a panel of judges, well-known people that you guys know from YouTube. And we did this one other time on Facebook, and it was a lot of fun. I gave away a prize. I think that one was uh, i created a custom coffee mug with the picture of that guy's model on it and sent that to him but this time um, i think we'll do first second and third place and i'll do uh i'll give away gifts from 
MCV products, um, 3D printed stuff, if that interests you guys. So that's what we'll do. I'll give three, uh, oh, this sounds like TV, prize packets away. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll uh, put together something so first, second, and third uh, will also, um, they'll also receive something. All right, so that's where we're going to do. We're going to go to that post. We're going to say, here's my new kit or unopened or unstarted kit. Let's don't like throw a kit. Up. I've got one built too. Uh, that doesn't count. It needs to be a kit that's uh, unstarted, if not barely started. You know what I mean? It might be something that you started 20 years ago, put it back in the box, and you, you had the engine glued together or something like that. That's fine. But not like a three-quarter of the way completed model kit. And let's try to have fun with this. Um, You'll take those photographs, those start videos, or start pictures rather. If you're a content creator on YouTube, you can do a video. But if it's just on Facebook, go over and post those pictures in that particular post that will be in the uh, description below. What are these model kits I'm talking about? Well, I'm glad you asked. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them here. I'm going to put my glasses on because I can't see anything. I can't even tell if I'm in focus because I'm totally out of focus. All right, so first one. Uh, not first one and these aren't the ones you got to build because there's a host of them uh, a host I don't think I've ever used that word before. There's a lot of these kits. This one is a this is this is what I'm talking about see classic Duesenberg they are the uh, as a matter of fact if I'll read what I do with my phone Let me read this post really fast Billy posts this he says the monogram classic group build Matthew and I had a conversation tonight about some criteria, criteria, criteria for fun builds. I listed the kits in another post of what is available for this build. Uh, you may start the build anytime and finish date will be October, I mean April 15th. Stock builds. You can do minor detailing and stuff. Let's just keep it kind of like almost box stock. If you want to put some plug wires or something, that's fine. And, and detail it up as far as painting and things like that. You may... Uh, Stock builds, detailing and weathering if you choose, or and that's encouraged. The point of this build is to see what builders can do to make your model stand out. Uh, please, he says, post a picture of what kit you are, are to build, as I, as I know who is building and what. As busy as Matthew is right now, I'll be. I'll try my best to make this way cool. Thank you. Uh, details on presentations are not um, okay. Anyway. Where, oh, here it is. Gosh, I read that whole thing just to not even see it. Uh, the post is, let's see if it'll come into focus. Get out of the way, Matthew. Come on, come on. You can do it. See that right there? Monogram. I can't read it. Now it's backwards. So it says, Monogram Classic Group Build 1929 to 1941 Full Classic Luxury Cars. I think the last one is a Lincoln. Uh, in 1941, uh, it's a it's a it's a Lincoln, big old Lincoln car, but it is a 41. So, all right, back to this. This is a this is a, one of the very first uh, editions. This is from out of the 60s. This is a Duesenberg kit. This is this is one of them. Um, and most always they have the the flat box like that, so you'll you'll be able to tell what's what. Here's one here. This is a this is a cord. See, it says museum pieces, still the same thing. It's the classic cord, but that classic is just because it's a cord. But anyway, that's one of the kits. Another one is they have Mercedes. I built the uh, Mercedes, not this particular one, but another one. There's one, the classic. I guess it is the classic cord, the classic Mercedes coupe. Um, oh, yeah, I guess they all say classic. Um, the classic Packard. So that's one that museum pieces. Now these are out of the seventies. The first, these three here that I just showed you, the the last three are out of the seventies. The first one I think was out of the sixties. Still the same stuff. Here is one. Uh, this is a really early one. This is a Rolls Royce, and it says Monogram Classic. See it right there. So that that's what we're talking about. And finally, uh, they have the newer releases, which when I say newer, um, 1987. I don't know if they put them out a whole lot more after that, but anyway, there's a Duesenberg. Now this one does not say classic on it anywhere, but that's still the same same model kit. So 29 through 41, these flat boxes, that's what we're talking about. They build up so nice. They are so much fun. You will ha you will fall in love with that era of cars, as I have. Um, 
when you build one of these. And, and Monogram did such a wonderful job of uh, designing and, and making these things. They're just great. They, they, you literally can, well, you know, that's kind of a, you shake the box and a built model comes out. It's not quite that easy, but they are very nice. But that is what we're going to do. Content creators, please, on YouTube, please, um, I don't know how, classic monogram group build. That's what you need to like tag it, I guess. I, I really don't even know how that works. But anyway, make sure in your, your title, classic monogram group build, or you don't have to put model car videos. I mean, that you don't have to do that. That's un, un, unnecessary, but at least the classic monogram group build. So something like that. So we can be able to find your stuff. But still, if you're a content creator, uh, still the pictures need to go over to Facebook because that's what we're going to do. We're going to take those final pictures. Important, guys. Good pictures. Good pictures. Good lighting. If you need to take it outside, that's some of the best lighting there is. Natural light. Um, as a matter of fact, the other Facebook group build or contest that we did, the fellow that won, guess where his car was outside so you take it and get the best photograph that you can with the best available camera or telephone that you have and uh, it just makes a world of difference also details take pictures of those details not just one picture of the finished car and that's it turn that thing around take five six pictures of the the car you know any details that you want to highlight the engine and things like that and again, it doesn't have to be, uh, it can be box stock and box stock stuff. I, I'm going to brag on myself. I got a box stock S, uh, Chevy SSR that made it into a magazine. And I'm like, I didn't do anything but paint it and uh, put it together. So box stock stuff can be absolutely extraordinary. Not that mine was extraordinary, but I'm just saying. It doesn't always have to be like over the top um, wires everywhere and stuff like that because i really don't dig that stuff i'm not that good at that i'm kind of a box stock builder all right well thank you this is going to be fun it's kind of thrown together um this video is kind of thrown together because i've been focusing on that and uh finishing it like a day before the deadline and uh i know some people have put up uh videos about what do you think about group builds I think if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Uh, if you don't want to get yourself in a bind, don't do it if it's going to get you in a bind. But if, if you just like doing it, and, and I'm, I'm not a huge fan of group builds, to be honest with you, but this is more of a contest than a group build, and I think that, that makes it really cool. If you don't think that you can build a model kit that can win um, a contest, um, that was the only drawback when I, we were talking. I was like, a contest or a group build? Um, I made a comment on my last video like everybody I want everybody to get a trophy and I was just joking but you know I don't want someone to be discouraged if they're not they don't feel like they can achieve the results that other people can but your trophy is your built model man you get one to, to sit on the shelf and enjoy if you don't win um, there's only gonna be three people that, that get uh, some sort of award but anyway pictures matter great photographs and a lot of times, if your car doesn't look that good, you can make, you can, pictures hide a lot of stuff, guys. They hide a lot of stuff. If you know how to take good photographs, good lighting, uh, you can make them look sometimes better than they do in real life. And then sometimes it's opposite. Sometimes pictures don't do it justice. But anyway, I'm just rambling on, guys. Thanks for all you do. And I hope that this thing takes off in it. And maybe it could be a yearly group build. You just threw another group build on us, Matthew. How dare you? I know. I'm sorry. Blame it on Billy. Um, I, I appreciate all you guys. Uh, MCV products real quick, just a plug. Uh, I've just, I've been working on some new engines. I've got a 327 Chevy. That's the most detailed little 3D printed engine I've ever seen. It has, it's just amazing. 327 has got a Muncie four speed. It's even got a flywheel pressure plate and all that stuff. Oh gosh, it's got tons of parts. So I'll have that one up. Uh, hopefully by the time you see this video, if not, just give me a few days and, and that'll be there. Big block Chevy blown. Um, that's cool. Some new wheels and tires, some more weld wheels, um, from Z force model works, um, working with Ryan over at Z force model works. And man, he's got some really nice stuff. I've just been kind of tied up, uh, not been able to get as many, um, design or a prints out that I, I want. I've got quite a few 
that I've gotten from him and I want to get those all out but I'm just trying to get them uh, as quickly as possible but anyway time is of the essence and I ain't had a whole lot of it so you guys take care and uh, don't forget you're going to have to paint that classic monogram uh, kit if you like to use uh, Tamiya rattle can Hobby Nut Models has got it if you want to try your hand at uh, MCW enamel Hobby Nut Models has got it um, if you need to paint that engine up and give it those all those metal colors he's got all that stuff go over to hobbynutmodels.com uh, linked in the description of all my videos and check out what Mark's got over there if you need any supplies or anything like that also to go along with that model kit or that model build go grab it link in the description below is his website link if you'll use that link when it takes you over there if you do purchase something i'll get some credit here at model car videos and that helps me out if not go over www.hobbynutmodels.com and go check his website out and grab you some cool stuff um yeah so anyway guys uh model car videos facebook group is always linked also in the description below so if if you're not a member of the Facebook group, you kind of got to be a member to be able to post those pictures. So you got to go join Model Car Videos Facebook group. Go over there. There's three questions. You have to answer the three questions or you will not become a member. Uh, do that. You're in and you can start posting those pictures. Um, I look forward to seeing all the content creators that have um, that, that make their videos about this and the pictures over on Facebook group. I haven't been interacting with the Facebook group much at all. Again, uh, just a time thing. But hopefully this will get me back in uh, uh, in in the swing of things uh, by going over and looking at all this post. But anyway, thank you for all you do, guys. Take care, and uh, we'll see you soon. All right, good luck, and uh, have fun doing it.